everyone and welcome back to another showcase I guess <clears throat> today we have what well, looks to be a prison and I wonder who it's built by yeah it was built by me why did I build this? I don't know. Just for the heck of it. I was kind of inspired. But without further ado, let's go and check it out. You can see I used the um the end rods for lighting. And I mean I could have done better. You can tell I made the front look very in depth. But the rest of the place not really. It's kind of flat. I didn't really take my time. Oh right, here's the security booth. I was gonna make like a like a road or something that goes around here. Very simple. Represents a little road and I'm not exactly like 100% done. I kind of just like stopped working on it because I was kind of like I Felt that I was done. So you're supposed to like drive up here and be like yo security. What's up, man? What's up, bro? You'd be like, okay, you're cleared You can park your car and come in and security guy will be like, all right shoot and Then of course, I don't remember my password And I didn't make this retractable. Well, let me work on that real fast. <laughs> so I can actually show you guys what's up. Uh, I'm a little trapped. No, I'm not. And you can view that from the inside. So you'd be like, alright. Let's get the password. Alright, so it's whatever. So it's the full bottom and the one at the top. Alright, so full bottom. Alright, the door opened. Why doesn't the piston count as like a, a thing that's kind of stupid? It looks stupid now. Whatever. You know, I don't care. So this door is supposed to like an easy way access. But... We don't, we don't need that. So, you can see the front door opened. And you're probably like, what? How did, how did that work? How did, you, how did you get both doors to open like that? It's a little trick I learned. Oh, that's not supposed to be open. Whatever. So, the breadstone goes on top above. So, where all the stone slabs are. Right about there. That's where it is. So yeah. And let's say... So that, that door, so like, let's say like, it's like you need it to be locked down. Oh, I forgot to turn off my notifications. Oh well, you know what, whatever. Who cares? So that, that's what this door is meant for. So now you're like completely trapped. You're like, oh no, no, no. So you can see I went with the same light system. I went with like a bar to cross. Like, that's meant to look old school. Not like, not, this is not supposed to be a modern prison. You can see I used the bars here. 
And then this is the next security door. All right. <clears throat> so first of all, you see this door. This door just leads you back to the exit. This exit does not have a code on it. Because once you leave, you can't get back. I mean, even if you use like a lever and you try to break in, you went like that. <laughs> you still can't go anywhere. Unless you did something like this. Oh. Oh man. So right here you have your visitors waiting room. <clears throat> um you have some chairs to sit down. You have a little you have a nice sofa. You have this weird arch thing. You have some windows to the actual outside. This prison barely has any windows. Yeah, cool. You have a window out into the into the hallway on both sides. You have some. The, I use like so. This this room is pretty symmetrical if you think if you look at it. That was I even intentionally do that. That was just like kind of like a like a thing that just happened so you can see the lights are still going this door leads that way and that way we won't go that way yet this door is only meant for like um one way access but i just put the buttons there so that i can access it and see our lights are still going now this room right here is the uh visitor center so you can see there's a window. Um, you have your lights. I, you could use some light in between. <clears throat> Just gotta watch your head. So then your prisoner will be on the on the uglier side, and then your um your other visitors your um. Like your family members, your friends will be on the nice side. You have this nice, like, tabletop. You can write things down. But they don't have anything because they don't, they can't bring anything in. I mean, they can't take anything from the, from your family there. It would have to be scanned. So these buttons are like, like those telephone button thingies. You know, like communicate with like a phone, the old school way. So continuing down here, that's the this is the end of the hallway. There's this there's a little office here. So this office is actually like the warden's office. Well, no. This well this is this is just like a regular like a like the booking office, I guess. Come on, let me jump. Come on. I can't stupid light bulbs in the way. Whatever. So like this is where like the family would communicate and be like, oh, why is this person in prison? You can tell I went kind of all out. Oh look, it's nighttime. You can you can actually be like, awesome. So that's it for this hallway. So this is all just this is the visitor section. This is all the visitor gets to see. But now, I need to show you the other entries. So, going around the building, you can see that's just something random. That's a random house. You can see there's a road here. You follow the road. <gasps> What's this? It's a gate. It's like a gate. It is a gate. I need to put in the right password. Nope, it's the wrong one. I don't know. Do I have an iron door on me? <laughs> no. Well, let me grab one so I can put a door on the side of this thing. It'll be in the back. 
that hopefully the redstone does not activate it. So, those ones are off. Oh, these two need to be. Oh, so it's the full top. Cool. So, watch the action. I don't remember. I haven't been on this world in a while. Oh, I forgot. So that that activates the bottom, but you still can't actually get in unless you have the top. But there's a secret lever. <coughs> I did not mean to place that other one. Oh, I just broke everything. Ah. Uh. This should still work, right? No. <laughs> Whatever. I'll fix it. Alright. And if you want to close it on the inside, you flick this lever up door outside. Up door open on the outside. I don't really know what that means. But I can actually close it. And then you would walk out here. And you would reset the password here. I think. See, this is the um. <laughs> Reset, please. I think. Ah, uh, so the password on the outside must be inputted to open the bottom. <coughs> I think if you flip this open, wait, does it even work? Cool. So we're just gonna leave that down, and so it will. This is like a little parking garage. I have the two police horses here. You can see it really does look like a garage. Totally. Hey. Totally. It's gonna be a duck a door here. We're not. Um, I do not have that color concrete. Is this concrete? No, that's not concrete. That's concrete. I think it's a darker one, I think. Ah. Uh, myself. Oh my goodness. It's not nice. Okay, let me go. Cool. Where are you going? Oh, really? So then afterwards, he opened the door. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <coughs> ah, crap. Flick that lever. Flick that lever. What the? And you flick. If you entered through this way, leave this way. Oh, okay, so, uh, it means, like, if you enter through the garage, you must leave the garage, which is obvious, because if you have a police car, you take your police car back out, or you can just reset it, so this way is just back, so that's just back, remember this visitor center? So you come through here, this door is locked, but then you see this, oh, you see your lights, and then you see this weird white concrete thing. Excuse me, I'm just...
This is supposed to be cup extract. What's white that goes all the way around you? Try guess. If you guessed a metal detector, you're correct. This is supposed to be a metal detector. And you can see that this roof is actually lifted higher by one. <coughs> I don't know if that's how it works in a real jail. So the prisoner would walk through here. They'd be surrounded by white. Nah, the bottom part is not probably not white. It's probably like gray. <laughs> so you walk. So this is the booking room. You can see. Dang, what a convenience. The light actually kind of goes through. Wait, what? What did I go over? Unless it was this. No. So the person would walk through the prisoner. They would basically stand there. That's why there's a dyed mannequin. You'd stand there. You would be holding up your little plate. And the person behind the counter would be like, all right. Pionk. It's not, it's not even. Wait, it actually isn't even. Do I have buttons on me? No. I'm gonna grab buttons real fast. Is it the dark oak buttons? I think so. This needs to be even, because if not, it doesn't make sense. So then after that... Just so that you can't like necessarily climb through. I mean, I can because I know secrets, but you can't do that from this side, so it restricts you jumping over. So then your picture would be taken here. You'd be like, "Oh my God, slap the camera!" Pew, pew, pew. And then they would, your picture would be processed, and then they would have you move on. You would walk through these gates. And then you would sit down here and wait. And then when you're done waiting. So when you're done, they would have, they'd be like, all right, come here. And you'd walk over to them, to this medical section. <coughs> and you, and they would ask you, do you have any medical problems? And then you'd be like, nah, sir, I don't. And they'd be like, all right, cool. <laughs> You would hand you some papers, you'd fill out the papers, and then be like, alright, have a seat. And then you'd have a seat, and then they'll be like, alright, sir, come here. You'd come through these secondary gates. And then this is where you'd get your your uniforms would be become here. I'm actually going to switch these out for metal doors. With buttons. Ah, oh, almost made it. You get your uniform here. And then this is the changing room. So you have your first section would be your women's section. And this is not meant for anything. It's just kind of, it became out bigger than it was supposed to. 
you can see I use these as the drains and you can sink down them actually Ah. Uh oh. And then when you're done with that, ah. Oh, that's right here. It's right. Just place that there. And then you're drinking. Okay, cool. Whatever. So that this is the women's section, and then the men's section would be through here. You can see it's a bit smaller because of just the way the layout became. This is just where the end of the of the thing was. Your your, your dual lights. Your single piece of glass. And that's about it. That's the changing room. You you change into your police uniform. You shower. You you take. You would take your all your stuff, all your belongings, well, all the prisoner belongings, and you just wait here for your cell placement. And then when you're good, what they'll do is they'll have you come over here. They'll give you your cell numbers. Or they'll just do some last minute confirmations here. This is just an exit door for the staff. For whatever reason, there's a door there and there's a barred section there. So, when you come here, the the cell keeper would put all, what? You'd put like all your specialized belongings there. It would be like locked behind a gate or something. And then he would he would guide you. He would bring you up to your cell. You come. So once you come up through the stairwell, you'll be led through these lovely doors. And now you're in the cell block. This is the only cell block I have because they, it was a very painful thing to make. And if I'm thinking like, why didn't I continue this this cell back this way? I'm not sure. It's probably because I was supposed to put in. Ooh, we have cartographer table, or whatever table this is. There's no anything for that yet. It's part of the barrel doesn't fall under like the chest section. So this is like storage. So that's like the daily that's like where like your daily rations come from, your stuff. So certain cells are bigger than other cells, like, because <clears throat> I've seen things that, like, so in some prisons, your family can actually stay with you. That's why some cells are bigger, like this cell, there's a double bed, because maybe it's a double prisoner cell. This cell is actually a family cell. No, it's not. It's a singular cell. This cell is a like a family cell. We'll put one more bed in just to fill the gap. You can tell I spent like very very amount of time. So that that's a family cell there. 
And this one is another family cell, same size. And then, so you'd be placed in here, and any one of these cells, if they're open or not. And then this office is like the ward, this is the warden's office right here. So then, so the warden can have a chat with you whenever he wants, because he's the warden. Crap! I hate this. Play some buttons. So oh wait, what about this cell? So this cell, these smaller cells are like um isolation cells. So like if you're like not being cooperative, if you're being like really loud and obnoxious, then they'll put you in ICU or something. Not ICU, something else. And then let's say like someone has like an internal bleeding issue, and the the, the nurse's station cannot like apprehend that. What they'll do, or if they're flying in somebody. Then they would have like either. Oh, I could have made a bubble elevator up to the top. Nah. Then they would have. They would either push up the stretcher from off, off a ramp. Where they would, um. Or they would walk down the person, and then this is like their this is like the helipad. Okay, you're gonna get squashed. Um. Now we have beef on our roof. <laughs> I love doing that. Right here, I help you, cow. Or not. It's fine. <clears throat> so this is all that's on the roof, pretty much. It needs to be nice and tall. So the helicopter can um ah oh. so that the helicopter can see in the night. That's why I have all this concrete of it in my inventory because I was working on the helipad. That was like the last thing I worked on, I think, before I abandoned this whole mission. Oh no, I haven't slept in over a while now. Burn baby, burn. Actually. So that's pretty much it for this section of the prison. Uh, actually, I have another section to show you. This is like the roof section. So then you, the prisoner, would have to walk. So and then let's say like um.
So, and then the, like, a prisoner has, like, family members to visit. They would be like, all right, they'd escort them out. they put them in their the handcuffs or something. And then they walk them down here. They will walk them down these stairs. Out through here and probably out through this door. And you may recognize this section. Uh-huh, uh-huh. They'd be walked down this into here. And they can meet their visitors. This one I didn't work on too hard either. Because well, why would I? It's a prisoner section. Prisons are only built to withstand like the first 30 years. And then the person retires. Nah, maybe not. Depends. And then like... And then dinner time would be in here. This is like the this is the um, the chow place, as some prisoner prisons call it. They call it chow instead of food. You chow down. <clears throat> That's about it. That's in this cafeteria. And then here is like a phone booth. So you would dial this. You'd be like. And you would call your mom. That's like a clock. To show you. Because you only have like 5 or 10 minutes to talk. And you can tell I haven't finished it. I just kind of left it empty. Because I just never had the time to finish it. So yeah. So that is pretty much all the prison has to offer. Oh, and then the discharge section would be this section as well. So the prisoner would walk down here, they would claim their items. And then they would walk to here. They would not encounter a skeleton. They would come here. They'd give the discharge information. And they would exit through here. They would exit through this door. They would exit through this door, and then there'd probably be like a like a little booth here waiting to collect the item or like the papers. So if you want to see me extend this prison, I'll be happy to uh, to hear your suggestions on what to make next. I know I have to make the the nurses station because I haven't got to that yet. I was kind of left with extra things to make. So I'd love to hear your suggestions. Because I value them a lot. That looks stupid. So you'd have like your guard will be here and then he'll be like release papers please and you'd be like all right here dog <coughs> and then he'll be like 
You'll be like, all right, man, you can go. Don't like that same mistake again. And he'd be like, have a great day. You'd be like, thanks, man. And then you'd be on your merry way. You'd go back home and you'd enjoy being out of prison. You enjoy being free again. So yeah, that's my prison. If you wish to see me extend it again, I know I've said this already, but if you want to see me, if you want to leave suggestions in the comments, I will be glad to uh, take a look at them. Maybe not punch holes in the ground. Maybe I can add like defense TNT cans or something. I'd have to make a backup of the world so that I don't accidentally blow something up. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear your suggestions. All right, then, be all for now. If you did enjoy, please hit up that like button. If you want to see this extension, please subscribe and leave a comment. And that, that will be all that I have to show for today. Uh, thank you very much.